<clears throat> oh, fuck. Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Professor Layton and Diabolical Box. Last time we beat the, um, everything in the continue. We've got this, uh, Golden Luke now, which is certainly something. And so we've just got left late in the challenges and then a top secret to look through. I don't know if we did the top secret last time, but it's something we'll look through briefly here. But anyways. Musician's House. Well, I don't know how long it'll take, how many videos we'll be doing these, but... I mean, what else do we have to do, right? Give this one a try. 139, coast to coast, 70 pick rats. A woman boards a non-stop flight, leaving Los Angeles at noon, and arrives in New York City at 8 p.m. The next day, the same woman leaves New York at noon and flies back to Los Angeles. The flight is unaffected by jet stream and takes the same amount of time to reach its destination as it did in the previous day. The time dif difference means it means it's always three hours earlier in New York than in Los Angeles. Can you figure out what time the plane arrives back in Los Angeles? Give your answer in 24 hour notation. The secret I think to this is uh, she just leaves like, never mind, that's not how that works at all. I was about to say something stupid. So it's 12 here. They did we just convert these numbers to um, LA time. So 12 goes to 20, but it's three hours earlier in New York. Which I believe they mean to mean it's 23. Like, there's. It's a two way shot, so it's plus 11. So this will be 15, which will go plus 11 to 26, minus 24 is 2. If I did it right. Let's try it. Hopefully it's not zero or two. Let's see if this works. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm stumped. Okay, so that was adding to. I don't know what they mean by like earlier. Do they mean it was like seventeen here? It's seventeen in LA when it's New York. It doesn't really make sense, but. Like, just to double check, we did it with plus 3, so it's 12, 23, 15, plus 11, 26, yeah, it's 2. So let's try subtracting 3, 17, 9, and then this is plus 5, so it'll be 14, I believe. Just leave this is me. wrong. Okay. Yeah. Piece of cake. But so it's so when it was like twelve there, it was nine in LA. Wouldn't that make them three hours ahead, not three hours behind? Good job. The plane arrives back in LA in Los Angeles at fourteen. 100 hours or 2 p.m. Due to the 3 hour time difference, it's, when it's noon in LA, it's 3 p.m. in New York. The plane gets to New York at 8 p.m., so the actual flying time on the plane must be 5 hours. The flight back to LA also takes 5 hours, meaning that it arrived at 1700 hours, 5 p.m. New York time. Factoring in the time difference to get the plane's arrival in LA, we get 1400 hours or 2 p.m. Yeah, I just misinterpreted what they mean by three hours ahead. Expertly solved, my boy. What an extra block. Is this going to be a sliding block puzzle? Here, have a look at these, this puzzle. 141 extra block, 70 pick rats. It is not. The diagram below shows the structure made of 28 blocks. Of these blocks, 27 form a neat larger cube, and on top of that sits a single block poking above the rest. Below this diagram sit 
there was too many blocks, but this time separated the cube has been separated into five chunks. Tap the chunk A through E that contains a single block that's set on top of all the others. Assume that all five chunks fit together as shown and can't be rotated from their current orientation. So just before anything else, how many blocks can we see in each one? Like this one I'm interpreting to be four. Interpreting there'd be like an L behind this one. Now like from what we can see here, I can see six blocks in this one. For this to be a hold, it has to be at least six. This one has six. This one has six. Okay, off the bat, this no? Okay. So there are no hidden blocks. The question now becomes, how do we fill out like the bottom row, for instance? Hmm. The problem is this one's like super hard to draw. Like, okay, let's let's assume A is on the top. We'll go like that. This will be the top row, right? So be the top row. The problem is I won't be able to see the things, but I think it's it's uh, we'll have to deal with that. This is the middle, and this is the bottom. So if A is on the top, we'll get a block there, a block there, and a block there. So what's going to fill um, the top left corner on that row, right? Because the only, there's no way to fit. I mean. Uh, the top left in that row is going to have to be an ascender. But just looking at how the dimensions are, it would have to be C. So here's the first thing of C. And it goes down, and you have like that. And it has like that on the third row. But now you still have the issue with the block below the um, ascender in the top row here for um, C. So yeah, that's just not going to work. So it can't be A. Let's try again with B. So this time it's going to be like this. Because they all have an odd number of blocks in them is my hint to make sure I don't mix anything up. And as before, we get the same issue with C has to be there. Like this. Now there's one in the lower left hand corner we have B and C accounted for too. The only one that can fit there is A, so that A would have to be there, giving us this. So it's now just a matter of D and E. D would have to go here, which would fit like that, because the only other place can be is one row higher, and that won't fit. But that's E, right? That is um, E. So is the answer just B then? Is it just the second one we tried? Do the trick. It sure is. All right. A bit hard to draw, but that actually wasn't too difficult. Wonderful. It's a little tedious. Good eye. B contains a 28th block. Were you able to visualize all five pieces coming back to form a singular structure? Not really. That's why I had to draw like a really me bad, messed up diagram for it. Brilliant. I know you could do it. 141, Disappearing Act 6. Give this one a go. And how many picker rats? 99. You love to see it. Oh god, it's one of these. Alright, yeah, so... I am gonna do this legit. If, if I can, uh, maybe I'll have like a, I don't know, I won't say anything on that, but. Um, I don't, this is another issue where I don't think I can like commentate too in interestingly over this. Well, I already messed up. So um, look forward to this. Look forward to me speeding this up. This might take the rest of my recording time, so... There very well could just be like two minutes left in the um, 
video, and it's all just me doing this sped up. If so, I'll look forward to that, I guess. You know what, one thing I'll do here, we might as well just use our hint coins. Equip your balls, get rid of the sauce while jumping, just make sure you aren't choosing moves random or get, end up getting stuck before you finish. Plan your jump so that you never leave any balls out away from the group where you won't be able to reach them later, that's not been an issue. As you reduce the number of balls on the board, then those remaining take on the configuration that you previously solved. You made it this far, far, the puzzle's in the bag for you, assuming you remember how to solve the previous solution. Sorry, there are no more hints to be had for this puzzle. I, there very clearly are some that you could be given. You may have heard of the proper peg solitaire puzzles. Don't consider these puzzles complete. Until the remaining bonds up in the center space. One step at a time though, let's finish this puzzle first. Alright, well that was completely useless, so that was cool. Consider this puzzle solved. Alright, that was some um, that was really fun and engaging and stuff. Masterfully done. I bet it was. Nicely done, my boy. So we'll probably call it here after that. What is um, maybe we'll do one more batch. Not to like hurry this along, but no, no, that, that's a bad idea. I'm looking at the recording time. That's a, that's a mistake. Don't, do not do that. Next time we'll do the next batch, and then the other two. And then, um, hopefully that'll be... And then, I don't know, after, after that we'll, like, look around, snoop around in here, in top secret. That, or what, but, yeah, it's probably only gonna be, like... But three or four videos left in this series, which is kind of sad, but I mean, it, it always, that's, that's how time works, you know? Eventually you just get through with this, and then when we're done with this, um, yeah, we'll, we'll play a different game, because that's how these channels work, so look forward to that, I guess. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying, I don't know why I'm talking like this, I'm, my brain is fried. As always, thank you for watching.